So Richard H is an Epicor uh, Profit21 uh, customer yep. and you were on the e-commerce connect or the ECC platform. I vividly remember one of our first conversations where you were heavily invested on the ECC platform and when you talked to DC Cap, we recommended a completely different approach. We said, hey, we understand that you've invested a lot and but then you just have to go with DC Cap and take a different route. And um, you, instead of continuing to invest, even though you made heavy investments on the ECC platform, instead of continuing to invest, you decided to cut your losses and move a completely different direction. I thought that was very inspiring because oftentimes when you invest a lot of money in a platform and if it doesn't work, hey, I just need to put a little more to make it work. Just <laughs> put a little more to make it work. But you were like, hey, it's okay, I invested a lot. What is the rationale behind that decision-making process? Yeah, it was a tough decision. We, uh, you know, in business school, they talk about a thing called sunk cost. And that was one of those things that always stuck with me in, out of business school. Um, you know, and that's the theory where once you've spent the money, you really shouldn't be using that expense to influence future decisions. You know, throwing good money after bad is, you know, the, the way it's often termed. That sounds really great in logical, rational terms, but it's really hard to do emotionally. Um, yeah, we invested a lot of money in ECC and a lot of time. I mean, we spent two years and, you know, countless hours, and I don't want to talk about how many thousands of dollars, you know, into ECC, and it just didn't work. Um, we got to the, the point, it didn't work for us. Uh, we got to the point of launching the second website, and it wouldn't work the way we needed it to work. Um, the whole point of using Magento was to have be able to launch these multiple websites and, and do this multi-channel structure. And I was really frustrated at the time, obviously. Um, EC, or Epicor told me how much it would cost to get it up to where we needed it to be and how much time. And I'm just like, oh my goodness, we've already spent all this time and all this effort. Do I, you know, double down and keep going or do I, you know, look around? And I, and I looked around. I looked at a number of different uh, suppliers. Um, and it became very clear that DC Cap could do what we wanted it to do for a price that made sense. You know, um, it was still going to take time. It's been about a year, um, well, actually a little over a year, taken to get the websites up. But you know, so I had to go to the boss and I said, "All right, here's the deal. Um, we either start over again and spend another chunk of money." Um, and just kind of throw the other stuff away. And, and fortunately, he was a smart guy. He is a smart guy. And he realized that it just wasn't going to work. Um, and he's like, yeah, fine. You know, go for it. Which was a weight off my uh, shoulders, but that was another year of, you know, starting them from scratch. And, and uh, But we're much happier. So after a year of, year and a half working with DC Cap, now we have five websites when it took us two years to get one website out of DCC. Um, and they're working, and they're working the way we want them to work. It's awesome. Sunk cost is something we learn. And yeah, so thanks for mm -hmm. taking us back to your business school days. <laughs> <laughs>